Hey guys, it's Lex here with another Lex play of the brand new Resident Evil 7. So, uh, just off the bat, uh, I'm stating I have already completed this twice, once on easy and once on normal. So I'm just going to do another run on easy, just to sort of show you guys the game. And if you're needing help or walkthrough or something, um, <coughs> pardon me, you can have a look. So uh, I'm going to start off by just showing you the settings. I know a lot of people have been going on about their frame issues, so just quickly, I've got all this on. Everything the display isn't the biggest deal, but graphics I'm running at 1080p, 144 Hz, 80 degree field of vision, variable frame rate, V-Sync off, and this part as well. Rendering method interlaced. You can set this to normal and it makes a slight difference, but um, in many cases it will half your frame rate. I don't have that issue, but what I did notice when I played this in normal, the game did freeze on me twice, and I went from I'm currently at 133 FPS. And it stayed about that, it stayed around 120, 130, and then sometimes it would just go boom, down to 30 and then back up to 60, then back up to, and other times it would just completely crash. And it also deleted my last save, even though I manually saved, I don't know why. Um, so I'll leave that on interlaced, resolution scale on one, everything else is at very high, smart anti alias and depth of field, um, and the game runs like a dream. But the main thing I like to mention is, if you're playing and having issues, make sure that interlaced is on, because it can really boost your performance in this game. And also, I'm playing with a controller. I just feel, I know it's an FPS, you should play a mouse and keyboard, but uh, I find I'm using the Xbox One wireless controller, and I think it works quite well. It's a bit of a pain for key binding. I'm also left-handed. So enough of me blabbing, let's get started. We're just going to go. Uh, we've also got to do a mad house run at some point, but let's just go on easy and just showcase this awesome game. I just wanted to send a quick hello, and I love you. Oh, good news. I'm going to be coming home soon. Yay! Oh, I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job and come home to my loving husband. I miss you. Oh, I got to get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending tons of kisses. I've got that webcam, C920. Ethan, you were right. I did lie to you. I shouldn't have. All I can say is that if you get this, stay away. It's, uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. You alright? You just disappeared the other night. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. It's Mia. She's not dead. She's alive. She, she's back. They found her? How? What happened? I don't know. Look, I, I don't know how, but she's back. She's back somehow. And maybe it's a prank. She wants me to come and get her. Where is she? Dolby. Dolby, Louisiana. I know, I know, but what if it is her? I have to find out what happened. So we've got a lovely drive. And just to start off, I'm actually running this game on an i7 6700K, 16 gigs of RAM and a GTX 1070. So if anyone's wanting to know how that runs, well that's the setup I'm using to run it. And it looks okay to me. The only complaint is there are some low res textures, which care I know some people have performance issues, and considering the low res textures, there really shouldn't be. Uh, but the game does look gorgeous. So, let's have a look. Now, I actually haven't nice. got the achievements for um, all items and all documents and all Mr. Thingies, the Mr. Everywheres. I will get it. I was annoyed. My last run, I got 31 out of the 32 documents. I was quite annoyed. Uh, but this this looks gorgeous. Um, you can see, obviously, I mean, it looks really like a picture, you know? You can see if you look, zoom in, it is a bit low res, but I mean, that, that's how you optimize a game. It looks good for a distance, like Valve games. So. 
I've also not beat the game in under four hours, uh, which I'll try and do. My last run was 60 hours on normal. But I will, even though I already know some of the shortcuts in this game, I'm going to be playing it a long way so everyone can sort of see um, what you would normally do. So, let's explore this nice van here. See the textures on the van, but it looks awesome from a distance. Sewer Gators episode 17, sneaking into a Louisiana ghost house. Schedule equipment, okay. Join us. Accept her gift. Oh, hi there. I need some help, please. It's okay, I'm just here to help. Don't worry. You know, for a scavy location, it actually looks pretty gorgeous, just saying, even though it's a boggy swamp. So, uh, oh look, a mangled, mutated horse thing. So yeah, um, the reason I'm playing in interlacing is I don't want it to crash in the middle of a recording, because that'll be a pain in the ass and set his back. Um, and the only time it crashed on me was on normal, and... You know, it's, it, the game's just out, still going to be some bugs and stuff, so, yeah, let's have a look at this bag here. Driver's license, okay. It says A to open the door, but unless you can really just walk into doors. Lovely. Ah, fuck! Fuck! I've noticed there's a running theme with these biological weapon things. They all have bad hygiene. Resident Evil 4, same damn thing. Delicious. I love some microwaved crow. It's, uh, it's actual, it's uh, a delicacy I hear. Does that say rim jobs? Regimos. Regimosu. Spaghetti. Okay. Oh yeah, it's locked. Oh, creepy foot. A creepy wee gibble. Over 20 missing in two years. Some disgusting shit. What a nice man. Ah, uh, sexy woman. I think that's Mia. You can tell she's got a nice ass. Ouch! That could have hurt your fingers. That could have really done some damage to your old tip of them fingers. Oh, a nice cell. The graphics in the chairs look awesome. The leather looks really good. Looks like the owners. Yeah, nice family. So uh, if you watched, you know I, I actually gave up smoking, so I now use an e-cigarette. So if you hear a weird Darth Vader sound, don't worry, that's just me. <laughs> don't be too worried by it. But if it is irritating you really badly, just uh, just tell me, and I'll I'll cut it out. Join us. Then we go back to his television once we get that tape and it will show us these tapes shall show you past events of what's happened beforehand. So we select it on anyway. And here we go. Oh. 
did you find this guy? Give me a break, Pete. Hey, I only work with professionals. Speaking of which, make sure the sound is right this time. I don't want a repeat of Amarillo. That was two fucking years ago. I don't do ADR. This new guy? I'm not feeling it. Again? Just don't be surprised if we have to make a change. New plan. We do a walkthrough of the inside first, then we shoot the intro. Just like we always do. Just try to say the show's name this time, okay? No problem. Tonight on Sewer Gators, another worthless fucking shithole. Happy? Ecstatic. <coughs> Pardon me? Are we rolling? All right, let's go. <coughs> Get out of the way. It's locked. <coughs> After you. So, why are we in hell this time? Do you ever prep? What's the prep? Shitty house, spooky sounds. Ooh, is it haunted? Fuck me. I was an anchor, you know? We can sub, Pete. Not anchor. What's that? Nothing. What's the story, Andre? Abandoned farmhouse, missing family, foul play suspected. The usual. How long do you say this place has been abandoned? Three years. <coughs> Clancy, get a shot of this. Let's make a great cutaway. So, uh, Hillbilly Joe and his family go missing. Not Hillbillies, the Bakers. Jack and Marguerite Baker. And they were quiet, not backward. A lot of bad rumors about their son, Lucas. Bad seat, apparently. Ah, shit! I know I should have worn my good shoes. Oh, shit. Glad I had my shots. Although, this would make a great backdrop. Andre, what do you think? Andre? Andre! Andre! Clancy, you see where Andre went? Where is he? Unfucking believable. This is the last time I work with that guy. I mean, producers, they come and go, but a, a good cameraman like you, Clancy, <laughs> you stick with me. Suddenly I'm the best guy ever, Clancy. Clancy Brown. This guy's such an asshole. VCR this time. What the hell? So obviously you can actually yeah, do that me. without watching the tape, but obviously you need to watch right, the deal. tape first time to realize. We, we find Andre and we go. I mean, fuck this show. I think it's a reference as well, I'm not sure, to the Blair Witch Project. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. I think there's a few horror movie references in this. You first. You need a nice hero shot of me coming down the ladder. Go fuck yourself, Guffy! You first. What do you see? What is it? Ah! 
to you. I mean, I think this is Blair Witch Project. This, I think there's some Evil Dead stuff as well. Creepy. Jesus. Okay, so I'm going to try not to make this too long. So now we know to go through here. I'll try and keep this to 20 minutes or 30 minutes maximum for seconds. I'm just checking the time here, see how much time I've got. I got about five more minutes, that should be fine. We start game game saved. Inside creepy land. Fact, you know what? I think I'm going to save. I'm going to go save here and end this part here. Because um I don't want it to run too long, so uh, yeah, then go save here and end part one here and then we'll continue from this as we go through there, if that's cool. So anyhow, this is just the sort of start part, this, this game does start off a bit slow and I don't want to drag it out, so um, I think it's better to have more shorter parts than less longer parts, um, so yeah. Um, the game looks awesome. I've really enjoyed playing it, and I'm looking, and I, I still love playing it. Um, I'm not even, I'm not even bored of the game. I think I'll see how many hours I've got in it. Uh, 22 hours total, past two weeks. So 17 minutes this current session's been, which isn't too bad. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and look out for part two.